More than a million dollars is going to remodel the West Broadway Kroger. The business has been the center of controversy for repeatedly closing early and high levels of theft. Well, today we're hearing from the district manager about what this renovation will look like and how it might help. But first, let's take a look at the Kroger locations across our area. You can see on this map, many are east of I-65 with just two locations in Louisville's West End. Isaiah Kim Martinez is on the story today. He has more on what's ahead. Kroger's own district manager will tell you this location off West Broadway is one of their most important across the city. It's also one that's been in the headlines for some of the wrong reasons, and now they say they're looking to change that. We're going to run the best store y'all seen over there in a long time. Kroger's Shane Smith with a promise to right some of the wrongs in a part of Louisville widely known as a food desert. I, I've heard from the community at times it's a concern that, you know, Kroger may be leaving Broadway. I just wanted to start by saying we ain't going nowhere. Um, Smith, the grocery chain's Louisville district manager, headlined Bishop Dennis Lyons' weekly roundtable Friday. We have been having complaints about Kroger for years and years and years and years and years. The talk was that $1.25 million investment to remodel the West Broadway store. Announced this week, it'll also raise wages and go toward devices to reduce theft, a thorn in this location side. We're losing money at this location. So by no means am I saying that theft is the only issue that we face in being profitable down here. However, it is a factor. But there's plenty of accountability to go around. Smith admits the West Broadway Kroger has faced controversy for repeatedly closing early, leaving customers confused and frustrated. We are supposed to stay open until 9 p.m., so we were in the wrong. So we addressed that with our team, and we are much better for it. I talked to Kroger customers like Kenny who bikes over from 21st and Jefferson. In this area, you can look around, there ain't a whole lot of choices, you know, when it comes to healthy shopping. Even with the major investment, he remains skeptical for now. It depends on where the money's going. I would like for it to go into the community that the money comes from, back into the pockets of the people, some kind of way. Renovations are expected to start later this year and be complete sometime in 2025. Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11, on your side. Today, Kroger confirmed the West Broadway location will be staying open throughout that remodel.